take this bitch <laughs> what's going on people my name is Batman and I stand here today ready to declare in finality that Titanfall is better than ghosts I've lived each cracked out on both profusely breathed the combat and I am certain now more than ever that this new title, risen from the ashes of the old COD gods that we veterans still pray to, is superior to what is left of the Call of Duty franchise with Call of Duty Ghosts. I was so supremely disappointed with Ghosts this year. Following Black Ops 2, I was certain they were getting their act together. They had finally implemented a proper score streak system. They had finally achieved proper gun balance. They had finally banished camping in its many grotesque and infuriating forms from the game in totality. Death streaks were gone. There were improvements yet still to be made. The lag was rampant as ever. Ever, but the final bumps in the road were minor when compared to that which was behind us. But as it is obvious to you and me and everyone else, Call of Duty Ghost was the most regressive Call of Duty in history. In a single year, it obliterated all the healthy progress COD had made towards actually serving their fanbase, the kind of game that fanbase truly desired. Was it deliberate? Is there some focus group invisible to the real world on forums, in-game, and on YouTube? A focus group of individuals too ashamed to admit publicly that they enjoy camping and prefer a killstreak system over a scorestreak system? Find me these individuals and I shall rout them out, slit their throats, and leave Leave them for dead in the night for their cancer has now overcome what was once great. But more likely this was unintentional. The incompetent work of amateur developers brought into a studio in a project that was beyond their capabilities. They are in over their heads. We know that these fools working at IW now are not but imposters. The just and proper thing would be to find a new name for this studio. Because how can they claim that they made MW2, that they made COD4, that they brought us killstreaks and perks and customizable classes, that they are the ones who revolutionized the FPS genre, when in fact they weren't around for any of these mighty accomplishments. And the developers who did bring us these things? The fanbase's favorite Call of Duties, the killstreaks and class systems that brought FPS Revolution COD itself from the beginning? The true developers and founders of Infinity Ward are no longer at IW. They now work on Titanfall. I know not the specifics of that fateful lawsuit following the release of MW2, but I know that in the end, Activision fired the best talent that it had, the heads of IW. Vince Zampella and Jason West, and my moral compass leans heavily in their direction because upon being fired, over 40 of their employees quit IW as well in protest. Their people were loyal, fiercely loyal, loyal enough to walk out on the highest paying job their profession offered on the most successful title in the industry at the time. If I knew nothing else about a man but that his people's loyalty knew no bounds, I would know that man to be a just and good man. And so from the ashes of the litigation massacre, the loss of the heart of the original IW, its founders, lead developers, and the most prominent 40 beneath them, the core and creamy center of this proud institution, rises as Respawn Entertainment. Now of course Activision held on to the intellectual property that is the Call of Duty formula but which was obviously not theirs when looked at through the ever elusive prism that is objective truth and analysis of reality. Nay, they retained it only through the barely legitimate laws of American finance in which your idea is only your idea until you submit to a corporate master in an effort to spread that idea, only to find yourself kicked to the curb while the idea is milked and desecrated and finally it dies the slow death of a magnificent and complex organism whose life and sustenance is dependent on a proper steward and lacking that proper steward and thrown into the grimy hands of usurpers, Mark Rubin's bitch ass and whoever the fucking noob cunts at IW are now, well then that organism breaks down as it has and now we see it in its most pathetic and withered form. There is a special name for this kind of neglectful murder. We know it as Call of Duty Ghosts. I'll not dwell on the pathetic stage of things or what could have been, for it only serves to frustrate me greatly in the thought of Mark Rubin walking away with a fat paycheck for successfully destroying a proud franchise that we all know and love. It is a symbol of all that is wrong with the world and it causes me great internal agony. Titanfall is the sequel Call of Duty could have had. The developers that every COD fan loves deeply, whether they know it or not, have finally brought the original Call of Duty formula to its next logical evolutionary step. They have finally brought us a game that not only fulfills the mandatory obligation to new players, weak players, and casual players, be it my girlfriend, my little brother, or some fucking half-wit hobo on the streets, the kind of people that are a majority in the world, and this a majority of the sales, and a majority that must be tended to if a game is to compete with Call of Duty. To destroy Call of Duty and the worst qualities it now actively promotes, nay, inspires within its players. 
The casual complex, the appeal to the weakest players among us, and the aggressive efforts to make a game suitable and amenable to their interests is inevitable. For every shooter has adopted the mentality now and Halo is lost. And by the way vehicle balance was handled in Battlefield, shows that even Battlefield slips towards the darkness. Titanfall has fulfilled that inevitable mandatory casual complex obligation, but all the while retained the widest and most significant skill gap we've seen in a shooter since Halo Reach four long years ago. The skill gap is apparent in two meaningful competitions taking place continually throughout each match of Titanfall. The first is the race to your Titan. Every player starts with two minutes on the clock for their Titan to drop, and every player's goal is, or at least ought to be, reducing that time as quickly as possible. The competition is total, with diversity in the strategies available, brutal in the skill required required to implement each properly. AI, pilots, and titans, with each the reward measured in build time reduced in return for damage inflicted is successfully more succulent, and yet each is exponentially and disproportionately more dangerous. And this is the skill gap that must be leaped across by each player as a pilot, and he or she with the most skill will leap the farthest the fastest, and thus the skill will be rewarded with a sooner titan fall. For the titan is true power. There is the race for power, but then there is the match of power on power. Titan fights are determined wholly by one skill, the aim, the timing of your tactical ability, the timing of your ordinance, knowing when to boost left, boost right in a dodge, or boost forward in an aggressive attack, or boost backwards in a retreat, knowing when to retreat, knowing the strengths and weaknesses of each weapon, and these weapons are so diverse and unique in their capabilities, be it the plasma cannon, or the 40mm, or the rapid fire quad rocket, each requires completely different play styles, as do the chassis themselves, and you compare this with Call of Duty Ghosts, which just last week, Nade Shot, one of the more renowned pro players, declared to be the worst Call of Duty in the franchise, while specifically mentioning the skill gap? These new fucks at IW, how can they properly implement something they don't understand? How can they understand something they didn't create? A chef cannot replicate the delicate and immense flavor of a master pastry he did not make simply because he witnessed the final product visually. Only the original chef knows truly what ingredients and what quantity of these ingredients was used and perhaps even worse these developers failed to comprehend formulas must evolve to meet the new desires of an evolving fan base. MW2 wouldn't work today because we've already played it and a dozen other games just like it. The FPS crowd's taste has gradually shifted over time. This is inevitable. One cannot eat the exact same type of cake for four years straight without yearning for something different, something new. Surely this is something to be understood easily by all peoples whom wish to please an audience, and yet it fails mightily to dawn upon the douchebags at IW. I have dedicated an entire playlist to the failings of Ghost. I hesitate to devote much more time to the dissection of its numerous and cringeworthy flaws, but suffice it to summarize that in an effort to level the playing field entirely and reduce the corresponding skill gap to its most insignificant form for all parties involved so that the weak and new players might enjoy themselves enough to continue playing and buying DLC, IW propped up, promoted, and encouraged camping playstyles heavily in the form of huge maps, all with a diverse selection of heavily fortified single entrance areas areas that can serve only one purpose, to camp, and in conjunction with this, the classes themselves tilt heavily in the direction of playing still. Footsteps are incredibly loud, so a camper will always hear a rusher if a rusher should approach him, but the UAV has been effectively removed from the game, so a rusher can never find a camper without physically seeing him, which will be challenging if the camper suspects he is in the vicinity because, again, said camper can hear his footsteps at all time, and the kill streaks, the guard dog, the IMS, the support squad mate, the sentry gun, the IED, which is a super powerful claymore that blows up in a 360 degree radius, thus rendering it impossible to escape and meaning the camper does not have to angle it properly as in past games, and in fact you can simply throw from across the room or attach it to the ceiling or a fucking wall. A claymore you can attach to a ceiling, it's reeks of injustice. So when pushed to camp, the players camp, and without a UAV, and on such big maps, and without an incentive to play the objective, because killstreaks are just that, killstreaks not score streaks as they were in BO2, with all its positive developments now undone, Ghost became incredibly slow paced, it effectively neutered its greatest strength which was that it was a high octane fast paced action packed shooter because the only people who don't want to camp get shit on by campers because that is the play style the game favors and camping itself isn't necessarily a bad thing 
Oftentimes it is necessary, and I don't think less of folks who camp if it's effective, but the problem is if you're a longtime veteran of the series, you aren't going to find much satisfaction in camping for an extended period of time, especially because when you finally do and you get your kill streak, the kill streak sucks ass, most likely because they nerfed the shit out of kill streaks because too many little bitches were complaining about getting shit on by kill streaks so often. Meanwhile, Titanfall is the most fast-paced FPS I've ever played in my life, and as I've mentioned, they did meet the obligation of the casual complex appeal, but they didn't do it like Ghost by trying to force all players to be on the exact same footing to the point that the game decided what your level of skill was truly and what do you know, it's virtually the same as everybody else's and every effort to break out of the system of skill control is moot because the game is expertly crafted to ensure a level of communism in that no child gets left behind but no child gets ahead either. The genius of Titanfall is that even though the skill gap is wide and those at the bottom of the totem pole, the weak and the new players who do go negative every match in COD and whatever other FPS they play, following this trend equally in Titanfall, but the blow of defeat and failure and inadequacy is softened by the most beautiful thing a game can deliver, fun and enjoyment. It's the little things in the game and life that make a perfect harmony of reality. Whether it be smoking a fat bull and watching some fucking Star Wars with the girlfriend or wall running and rodeoing a Titan and finishing it and jumping off and massacring a bunch of AI and calling in your own Titan and massacring even more AI and even getting some pilot kills and getting in Titan fights and then ejecting from your Titan, these are things that every player gets to experience. Not because they are easy, but because they are a simple fraction of what this game offers for its gameplay experience. Titanfall is about having fun. Call of Duty is about addiction. COD wants to keep you chasing. Titanfall delivers that which you desire every single match. And in Ghosts, where to truly excel, one must put the self above the unit, and as the individual thrives, the unit dies because individual promotion is directly counterproductive to the overarching goal of the team. And what truly is rewarded? What is truly incentivized? Individual accomplishment or a victory? We all know the truth. Because COD is about the stats, ego, and glory, and self-validation by proving to whoever wants to fuck around that you have a superior set of stats in this game nobody even gives a fuck about anymore. Titanfall, you can't see other people's stats because it's not about stroking the ego cock in the lobby, it is about being in the moment during the match, fucking harmony, being fucking present in the universe, and understanding your role in the complex clusterfuck that is life. And of course, Call of Duty Ghost lags immensely and consistently in every single match. They said dedicated servers for the 360 and PS3 were coming, but we all know that was a lie because there are still plenty of host migrations to this day. Fucking liars, they said dedicated servers for the new gen and you know, there hasn't been a host migration, but it, guess what, it still lags like a motherfucker every single match, I'll testify to that right fucking now, you know what, I know it, let's stop fucking around, this game lags on purpose. Titanfall has dedicated servers and they work. Rarely do I experience a laggy match on Titanfall and when I do it's because it's 2 in the fucking morning in a playlist that isn't popular or if I join someone's party who lives across the country or world but generally Titanfall suffers from very little lag and lord hail the dedicated servers and the badass motherfuckers who employ them correctly. Meanwhile, after four years of the community's number one complaint being lag in the game, lag which mysteriously started after MW2, lag which hasn't gotten any better even with the dedicated servers, Call of Duty is a fucking worthless piece of inconsistent latency fail fuckwit programming and coding. It's on purpose, they lied about the fucking servers, they lied about fucking quickscoping, and fucking freefall being a dynamic fucking map, they lie to us, and scam us, and cheat us, and I say fuck them, fuck them good, and fuck them two times, rise above. Titanfall! Thumbs up to support the cause that is Titanfall, for it will rise on all four consoles. There's Halo 2, there's Modern Warfare 2, and there will be Titanfall 2. And God save the king that is Respawn Entertainment. And long live the IMC and Militia, they who fight in honor on the field and skill in their fingers with joy in their hearts and ours. And fuck the motherfuckers who disrespect us as the husband disrespects the wife he beats and legally rapes in Saudi Arabia. Respect the cock infinity. Respect the cock Activision. Your days are numbered, we're moving on. The night is dark as just before the dawn, and Ghost is a dark, dark piece of shit where I hereby refuse to cut my teeth any longer. Please rate. This is Batman, signing out. We must get to the chop!